On this day dedicated to life work and message of Dr. King, Tom Trunk considers how a unifying figure like Dr. King is needed today. We're left with so many what ifs for Martin Luther King Jr. What if he was alive today? What if he was able to unite what many would say is a divided nation? A figure like Dr. King is noticeably missing in our time now. I have a dream that one day on the Red Hills of Georgia, the sons of former slaves and the sons of former slave owners will they be able to sit down together at the table of brotherhood? When Dr. King spoke those words on August 28, 1963, it all seemed possible. In 2020, I wonder what the reception would be if a leader posted such a message to social media. Praise? Cynicism? The fact that's debatable says a lot about the status of unity. Parades, service events, even the doodle on the Internet's biggest search engine all honor Dr. King on this day. But what about tomorrow? Chances are it likely goes back to normal. Republicans and Democrats will clash over the impeachment trial. It'll be the never-Trumpers versus MAGA supporters. Racial, religious, and economic divides, however improved, will still be with us. In that sobering reality is where a leader like King is sorely missed but we've recently seen glimpses of hope. If we can work to understand and solve each other's problems and each other's pain compassionately, then truly all things are possible. For a brief time last week, Steve Gleason managed to have some of Congress's most bitter enemies sitting next to each other. All agreeing Gleason is an American hero and deserves the Congressional Gold Medal. A past recipient of the same honor was a man who was also known to bring people together. A man who had a dream. Free at last! Free at last! Thank God Almighty! We are free at last! Tom Trung, Eyewitness News.